all right my lovely friends family and supporters thank you so much for tuning into this channel today so i'm kind of trying to share with you how i try to make a vegan cod using plant-based milk this is my tiger nuts i soaked it for about 12 hours because i soaked it overnight then i'm doing it the next day a cup of tiger nuts and the one in a white plate is actually the dry tiger nuts yes this one that is the dry tiger nuts so i soaked it overnight it now looks like um yeah i soaked it overnight it looks like this so you can use um any one can use the dry one you can use the fresh tiger nuts so i got the dry one soaked it and i'm using it for this um, recipe so first i add it to the blender and i use two cups of water i'm adding the first one now later i'm going to add the second one and i will just blend to smoothness so for the video i'm following eight steps for this recipe they actually said um, any plant-based milk can go for this process can work yes though the person used um, peanut milk but i'm using tiger nut milk yes because i love the flavor of tiger nut milk more than that of uh, uh, peanut milk so i actually a kind of love it if it's the cord can be of plant based because sometimes i got bloated like my stomach gets bloated with milk so i'm trying to maybe get alternative like using plant based to try the process so i'm just sharing with you how i did it so after blending i'm trying to sieve it yes the person still did it this way she used a sieve like this and skills the milk and skills the milk so the milk is just coming out it kind of easily so the flavor of this tiger nuts milk is just so heavenly guys i just love the flavor maybe if you don't like tiger nuts milk or if you don't like the flavor of tiger nuts, because sometimes what you like might not be what other person like you know so if it is the peanut milk that you want to use just as the person used yeah and the person said no restriction of any plant-based milk that you can use any plant-based milk yes because it's a vegan recipe you can use any plant-based milk so i only choose this uh tiger nuts milk because i love the flavor hoping it will work out well for me so after the first blend and sieve i'm going to blend the chaff again using this time around one cup of water the previous one was two cups now this i'm using one cup to give the chaff a second blend all right so those are the steps i was following just carefully and gently observing the rules and let's see how it turns out at the end of the day <laughs> let's keep watching so i've given it a second blend and i'm sieving it again you observe that much milk still came out of it you see so we still got much milk from this second blend you can even give it a third blend if you want to but i'm not sure you're going to use it for this recipe again <laughs> just give it two eyes blend just as the person did my teacher did so now i'm giving it a final sieve into the pots i'll be using to boil the milk you know just as the normal milk you know it is this um cow milk you just put it in the pot and boil for me i brought it to boil for like five minutes yes i let it boil for five minutes the person did not mention how long it's going to boil anyway but i kind of let it boil for 
five minutes so guys if you think you should boil it should be boiled more than five minutes please let me know in the comment section because this results is something i still want to share with you so after five minutes i let it cool as the person advised it, let it cool completely just as you do with your regular cow milk let it cool after cooling you kind of skin it it kind of take out the surface yeah you know so that is what i'm doing here i gently it kind of scoop out the surface it kind of yeah so then after that i continue with the other process this is actually a kind of an adventure for me because if he gets to walk if i get to do it without a starter i will be very very happy if i'm able to achieve this cord without a starter i'll be so so happy with my adventure with my results and you know guys it is said that practice makes perfect if you try something once it didn't work don't give up keep on trying maybe you're going to do it different way this time to see the results so next time i will be doing this process i will be doing it in a different way though the step-by-step -step process to this point will still be the same but i'll be doing it in like towards the end of it in a different way okay so after that i kind of turn it into the plates i will leave it to stay for like 24 hours but i noticed something that the milk got burnt i don't know why it got burnt that is when i started suspecting that something is wrong but not this less i didn't give up i continue moving ahead so the person used actually green chilies i i kind of he still use yeah the person used green chilies on one plate the red chilies on the other plates and both of them came out fine but since i have red chilies fine i say let me just go ahead and use the red chilies that i have because her own red chilies also worked so now that i've carefully placed three chilies inside the plate i'm going to cover it the person said put it in a warm area of your kitchen and the one area of my kitchen is inside my oven so i carefully place it inside my oven where nothing can disturb it and leave it for half 24 hours mm. so let's see the results uh here we go unfortunately i'm left with a soured milk <laughs> i don't know what to do so this is it guys i'm not going to give up trying thank you so much for your support